Hi folks, I'm going to give a little tutorial on how to operate a water curb valve. Frequently plumbers and regular folks get into trouble because they misuse the valve or they mistake a gas valve, this has happened, a gas valve for a water valve. Now let's start with that very important fact. Most water valves, but not all water valves, are labeled. It says water. Likewise, most gas valves will say gas on them, but that's not all the time. Another way to be certain you're working on a water valve is water mains, depending on your jurisdiction, are much deeper than gas lines. Gas lines are not going to freeze, water will freeze. So in New York City, a typical water valve, the top of the water valve, would be approximately four foot deep, could be four and a half, could be three and a half. So when you put the key in, it's going to go down all the way. Now this has, this has extensions. This is about three and a half feet, but this has extensions. This is a curb, a curb box key for a water valve. Now if you put a curb box key in and it only goes down about 18 inches or two feet and the box isn't labeled, I wouldn't touch it because it's probably your gas line. That's a, a key thing to keep in mind. Now a second thing is there are two types of water curb stops, curb valves if you would have it. There is a ball valve that has a slit on top. There is a gate valve that has a nut on top. Just like any ball valve, if it's a slit on top, it's only a quarter turn. Don't think you're gonna keep turning it because you'll snap the valve. Now for this type of valve, there are two different types of curb box keys. Curb valve keys. This slit fits the slit on the valve. It's specific for a ball valve. This key has a nut. It's specific for a gate curb valve. And regardless of the size of the gate valve you're working on, the nut size itself is uniform. You don't need different size curb box keys for different size curb valves. Now, lastly, how folks get themselves into trouble. Frequently, when it's a gate curb valve, it hasn't been touched in many years. There can be corrosion inside of it. If you're not getting full closure, open up a faucet or two, take off the strainer or the aerator, work the valve back and forth. That can loosen up the corrosion, it'll come out through your sink and you can close the valve. Now, the last way that people get into trouble, they put the key in the box and it's tight and they jerk it. That frequently results in leaks because you're, you're jerking the valve. You could be jerking the fittings down there. You're going to make it leak. So what you really want to do is get an extension on the handle, a helper, get two of them, right? Now, instead of having to jerk the handle here like that, you have leverage. Gently, gently turn it to get it moving and gently close it. If you exert force, you can also snap the stem on the valve. You'll have no water or you'll have an inoperable curb valve and then you have to do a fairly major repair. I hope that helps you out there.